Hey guys, Gemini here, bringing you another comic review. Let's try to get through this quick because I want to try to get this video at least under 11 minutes. And there's a lot to unpack with this story, trust me. Here we are in Uncanny X-Men from the 1960s underneath the watchful editing eye of Stan Lee. And it's all about a war from underneath. It's called War in a World of Darkness. Ooh, eerie. The story picks up where Beast and Cyclops are rebuilding Cerebro and the computers connected to it that the mysterious Factor 3 destroyed while kidnapping Charles Xavier. Iceman and Angel were of no help to Cyclops and Beast, so they decided to take a rest. And Jean decided to go back to Metro College, where her roommate ran into Ted Roberts and said that Jean needs to call him back immediately. So she ends up calling Roberts back. Ted tells Jean that his brother Ralph has been kidnapped and he needs the X-Men for help. And Jean's like, how did you know that I knew the X-Men? And he's like, um, I'm not going to explain myself, but I know. I know you know, you know I know, I know you know. Side note here, the art I think in this issue is amazing. And the artist is named Dan Adikins? Adikins? I'm sorry, I probably pronounced that last name wrong, I'm very sorry. But his art is amazing, and it flows very well, and it's not complicated, and it's great. Let's go back to the story, true believers, as Stan Lee would say, God rest his soul. Jean Grey got picked up at Metro College by Iceman and Angel, and they met Ted at his brother's secret laboratory. There he explained what his brother was doing and how he got kidnapped. Ted explains how his brother Ralph was still continuing his research on a super alloy based off of cobalt, which he made a super suit of it in issue number 31, kind of mimicking Iron Man. Then all of a sudden, Tyrannus came from underneath the Earth's crust to take over the lab, to take Ted's brother for his super cobalt alloy mixture. While the X-Men wonder how they're going to get back Ralph, Ted shows them a secret vehicle that Ralph was working on that could break through the Earth's core with the super cobalt alloy surrounded around it. Very conveniently, since the vehicle could only take three passengers, Gene, Iceman, and Angel ended up going down where Tyrannus came from. And then they found themselves in this very immensive cave underneath the Earth's crust, where they end up running into the Mole Man. Man, man. Gene, Iceman, and Angel end up fighting the Mole Man's minions and then chasing after him. But the Mole Man leads them to this mysterious water underneath the Earth's crust, and the mist somehow makes the X-Men forget who they are. The story ends up going to Tyrannus's lair underneath the Earth's crust, where Ralph Roberts is forced to cover this robot with a super cobalt alloy that he created. Tyrannus wants Ralph Roberts to create him an unstoppable robot army made out of the super alloy of cobalt. Of course, Mr. Roberts said no. Okay, this story light splits into three different storylines, but it all meets up at the end. This one shows Beast and Cyclops following the tracks of the experimental vehicle all the way until it goes to the underground cavern. And then it goes back to Gene, Iceman, and Angel 
now forgetting who they are and thinking that they are servants of Mole Man. And as we see here, Mole Man shows the X-Men this diamond robot that he created to attack Tyrannus. But he doesn't know yet about the unbreakable Cobalt robot that Tyrannus made. Of course the writers want you to know what's going on with Beast and Cyclops. They end up finding the experimental vehicle, which then they decide to go find the X-Men inside the vehicle, which helps them pass through the mists of the forgetful waters that allows them to keep their identities. And then of course we get this weird random scene, always a random monkey scene in the X-Men, where we somehow get to know why Tyrannus wants to fight Mole Man. It's because Mole Man's took an over the underground layer of Tyrannus and keeping him away from the Fountain of Youth. Wow, really? The Fountain of Youth? Yeah, that's in this issue. Of course, at this time, Mole Man sends out his diamond encrusted robot to go and attack Tyrannus, which we don't really know why Mole Man wants to attack Tyrannus. It makes no sense, but he just does. Then, of course, Tyrannus is not going to sit by and let this happen. He sends out his super alloyed cobalt robot man thing to fight the crystal robot man thing and they do this big huge fight against each other and they're like oh my goodness this is crazy to be honest it kind of reminds me of a scene from the classic version of attack of the titans totally don't you see it totes i see it then of course the X-Men being Iceman, Gene, and Angel believes that they are minions of Mole Man. They actually help defeat the Cobalt Robot. While that whole mess was going on, Ralph Roberts was able to punch Tyrannus. But then the X-Men came in to fight Tyrannus in the name of Mole Man. I'm sorry, that's the way I like to say it. I like to give it with a little oomph and majesty. Yes. Okay, so the story goes to Cyclops and Beast finishing off with Mole Man. Mole Man takes him to Tyrannus' place. The X-Men almost fight Cyclops and Beast, but yet he ends up saving them with some kind of interesting reverse ray, mental ray, that allows the X-Men to remember. And then they end up getting Mr. Roberts and they left Tyrannus and Mole Man with no memory of who they are. So the story jumped around a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like a too much, yeah. Too much uh, turn around, eh? No, I'm kidding. But yeah, it moved around a lot, but ultimately it flowed. It had a nice flow to it. It wasn't too much on one thing and too little on the other, and it made sense. Look at it, you guys. We actually did it. The video's actually under 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about that. Please leave your comments below. Please give it a like, give it a heart. Make sure you share it and watch it more than one time. Come on, if you like it, if you like my style of storytelling and reviewing, please watch it again. God bless you guys. Keep the faith and never give up.